of the high, worst health effects caused by smoke are caused by very fine particulates that even an N95 can't filter out. And that bad air can hurt your health. We're going to tell you how to stay safe this weekend. Welcome to Coin 6 News at 10 o'clock on Portland CW. I'm Wayne Haverly. With wildfire smoke hanging heavy over the region, health experts say you may want to just stay inside for at least some parts of the day. Coin 6 is Jennifer Dowling. She joins us live with the tips from the experts on when to venture out there, Jennifer. Good evening, Wayne. Well, with those experts that we talked to tell me that the cooler parts of the day today were the best to be out. That's when the air quality was best. So you may want to wait until the weather gets a little cooler because that is the trend currently. Also, they tell me that you might want to stay inside if you have sensitivities to this type of bad air because they say the heat, the smoke, the air quality can really sneak you up, sneak up on you. And we came down here and spent the last little while in the water. Dave and Kate McDaniel know just how to keep the kids cool while the temperatures soar. Took the family to OMSI. Uh, nice air conditioning there. They've got the dino exhibit going on right now. Um, that was pretty fun. After a trip to the Oregon Museum of Science and Industry, the family rounded out the day at the Salmon Springs Fountain. As for the air quality, the family said it wasn't bad enough to stop them from getting outside. A little kind of smoggy, the masks help you know, a lot. We talked to two public health officials who are keeping an eye on the situation in the Hood River area and Multnomah County. We advise people to close windows and use interior air circulation. They say it's a good idea to filter the air in your home. With increasing wildfire smoke and the effects of climate change, it's worth investing in a filter for your home. Also, limit your time outside if you have sensitivities. Whenever the air is smoky like this, when you exert yourself or spend a lot of time working outside, and particularly compounded with the heat, there could be health effects that sneak up on you. Haggerty says the websites Oregon Air put on by the DEQ and Air Now run by the EPA are a good place to look at the latest air quality readings. We have had hours where the air quality is good or in the moderate category that overlap with the coolest part of the day. We've been driving a lot with the AC blasting and not going outside. That's yep. what we've been doing to stay cold. <laughs> Drinking lots of water. We're on a weekend trip here. Sam and Lacey say they brought masks that can tackle the smoke but are mostly sticking to their vehicle. We have our N95s, yeah. but we've been in the car so much we just came out. But yeah, it's definitely a concern. We're from like Seattle, Washington area, so we kind of came from the smoke, so it's kind of like same, same, you know. And Stromquist advises that if you're coughing or wheezing because of the heat or the smoke, that you contact your primary health provider and get some advice. Live in Portland, Jennifer Dowling, Coin 6 News.